Hi guys. My name is Mary. I'm going to be doing the second half of November reading for you all. November 16th through the 30th reading for Aquarius. I want this one. How are you all today? I hope everybody's happy, healthy, safe, and well. This is for your sun, moon, and rising signs. Whoops. I'm going to keep it I'm flying out. It's not going to resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate, you might want to try your other signs. Hope everybody has a great Thanksgiving. Can't believe it's already getting towards the end of the year and the holidays. All right, you all, let's see what we got. Knight of Swords. Five of Cups. Queen of Wands. King of Cups. Judgment. And Nine of Swords. Clarifying, Four of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, and Two of Cups. Blossoming Abundance, that's a pretty card. <laughs> that's even prettier. Door to Personal Healing and Happiness. Wow, beautiful. Success? You're ready. You're ready for success, you all. Give me just a minute, okay? All right, you all, I have a feeling that there's something going on probably right at this moment when you're listening to this. Something that's making you sad and something that you are um, you can't seem to get out of your mind for one reason or another. You may be losing sleep over it. Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry. You may be losing sleep over it and it's something that is um, maybe driving you insane a little bit. And I believe that here in a second, something's going to change that's going to bring in some sort of happiness and some sort of um, justification, is how I'm feeling about it, to where you all are going to uh, change your mind and, and be in a much better mood than you have been. So, especially when I get these cards over here, this door to personal healing and happiness, this blossoming abundance, success, you're ready. It just makes me feel like you all are either on the right path or you will be on the right path in the very near future to change something, even if it's something small, that's really going to make you a lot happier about certain things in your life. Whether it's just changing your mind about something, whether it's moving somewhere different, um, getting a new job possibly, um, or uh, just having some sort of blessing in disguise a little bit. And that's sort of what this blossoming abundance makes me feel like too. You know, like you're, you're being blessed with something. So 
when I get these cards and I feel like that maybe you're going through something right at this moment, I think that's about to change. So just hang in there for a minute because I feel like you, you guys are about to um, do something different or think a different way. And this judgment card here too, you know, sometimes it's um, you're being called upon. Uh, sometimes it's a spiritual card. Sometimes, you all, it just makes me, me feel like it's a rebirth card. Whether you're um, changing your mind or seeing things in a different way or moving somewhere else or uh, standing up for yourself, whatever it is, just makes me feel like you're going to be thrilled with the outcome. Now, I do have two people here. Queen of Wands, which is a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female. Um, when I, when I get a fire sign like this, I feel like this could be uh, fire and passion and energy and, and things like that, of course. So this could be someone that you know, but it could also be your energy and you guys saying, you know what, this is for the birds and I'm going to um, do something different whether it might just be changing your mind about something. Then I have this water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, male or female. These may actually be people uh, in your life that may be helping you or they may be harming you, I'm not quite sure, but they could also be your energy. So I'm going to look at it like maybe it is your energy today because here's your fire and passion and determination and energy and here's your emotions and something that's going to make you happy is you guys changing something or tweaking something or mixing something up or adding something in into the mix. I feel like you all are about to be um, thrilled with something that's about to change in your life. It could possibly be when I get this Two of Cups, you know, sometimes sometimes I see this Two of Cups like it could be a relationship because it can. Um, so this could be a new romantic partner maybe coming in. This could be someone talking to you uh, recently or someone that may be starting to talk to you in the, in the near future. Um, and or it could be a friend. I mean, it, it doesn't always have to be a romantic partner. It could be a friend or a co-worker or a business partner, something to that extent. I just feel like you're going to have somebody that has your back. And with that being said, this is not going to be an issue very much longer. And I feel like you guys are going to be able to take a big, deep breath of fresh air and, and not have any, any fear um, about moving on into a different um, environment, maybe, into a different job, possibly, and uh, into a new adventure, maybe. But with these cards over here, they really make me feel like you guys are, uh, things are changing and, and shaking up in your life for the good. Now, I do have this Four of Pentacles up here too that makes me feel like you're hanging on or saving or um, not letting go of something specific. And a lot of times it's, especially under the circumstances that we're all in today. Sometimes it's just you all saving for a rainy day or trying not to spend anything that you don't have to and things like that. Maybe you're saving to open your own business or move somewhere different. Um, so I personally see this today as a good thing for most of you all. I feel like that this is not out of greed, but this is out of necessity for most of you all because it, you don't know how things are going to work out or um, you've been saving for something specific and I feel like that this is a good thing in your life. So I feel like if you have been saving something, um, saving some sort of a savings account or money or something like that, I feel like that that may be coming in for some of you all. Being able to go out and purchase something that you're wanting or needing or um, have your mind set on. And I think that it's once again almost like a blessing in disguise. If you all are going through a little bit of aggravation right now, hang in there for another minute or two. When I say that a few days a week, I feel like the things are going to start turning around. And it could be because of these two people here. They could have your back. They could be helping you. And it could be because you're getting mad at them and you're like, I ain't putting up with this nonsense anymore. And the next thing you know, you've something else has come in and you've changed your mind about something, therefore putting you on a different path. So 
I get excited about it because I feel like that even though sometimes we don't realize it, sometimes even with just a small change of our mind or the way we see things or when a truth comes out or something like that, sometimes it's news or information, and when we change our mind about something, it almost puts you in a totally different environment a little bit in your own mind, in your own actions. So with that, it just makes me feel like you all are going to, something's going to change. And for some of you, it's just your mind, you know, change your mind about something. But it's going to change and it's going to put you in a better predicament is how I'm feeling about it. I really am. And you know, this Seven of Pentacles, to me, this is almost like a blessing in disguise too. Um, it's like you're harvesting your fruit. Sometimes with this uh, Seven of Pentacles, this could be something that has just... I, I see it in different ways. Sometimes it's like a bonus that might come in that you don't expect. And that's how I'm seeing it today. Almost like you may be getting something that you don't expect um, in the in this month or the beginning of next month that might just say, you might just be like, wow, I can't believe that I got that bonus in the mail or that pay raise or that check in the mail or I overpaid a credit card and they're sending me back the money or, you know, something silly like that that you just don't expect it and all of a sudden it's, it's a nice... Um, happy little occasion in your in your own mind even if it's something small you weren't expecting it so i feel like that that could be uh helping you all a little bit too but i do feel like that there's going to be someone coming in that you're really close to um, whether they're romantic or not i feel like this person is going to be good for you maybe even a business partner or a friendship partner maybe even a sibling but I feel like that the two of you guys can really uh, do some damage if, uh, and I mean that in a good way, um, not physical damage, of course, but um, do something good together in, in a good way, especially if you're wanting to open a business or work from home or do something to that extent. I feel like you guys could uh, really help each other out and play off of each other in a good way. Give me just a minute, okay? I'm going to rearrange. Kind of put that over here. I don't know why. I'm feeling like this Knight of Swords, this air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, this could be you and your energy, of course. But I almost feel like this may be someone helping you guys or um, helping you with some... Um, information, some clarity, some truth, some sort of news possibly that might be coming in. But then on the flip side, I feel like that he could stand for adventure for a lot of you all. So, and and you're ready to take charge and you're ready to, to come um, into a different situation or into a different frame of mind over something specific. So for some of you all, there's something going on here that just makes me feel like that you're just sad about a situation. You you can't sleep good at night. You're sad about it. You can't believe it. The next thing you know, I feel like that there's going to be some sort of truth or information or news that comes out. And it's really going to change your mind about something specific. Now, whether it is you guys changing... Um, and for some of you, it's going to be more than your mind. It could be a job. It could be somewhere to live or something like that. Um, but I feel like that there's going to be something that comes in that you all may be needing some sort of savings to move forward in some ways. Or you're saving for uh, something completely different. But I do feel, too, that there's going to be like a blessing in disguise. Some of you all may not be expecting some sort of a money to come in possibly financial reward sometimes it's a little bit different it might not be money at all it may be um, like that blessing I was talking about it's almost like you just feel wow this is really cool that this happened to me 
some of you all may be dealing with a new romantic partner or a friendship partner or even a business partner and I think that between the two of you guys you're trying to figure something out so you may be trying to open a business or do something together in in that kind of way you may be dealing with a water sign cancer Scorpio Pisces male or female you may be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female. They may be actual people that you're dealing with. And in a lot of ways, in one way, they could be people that's helping you get through certain situations. And in other ways, they could be people that's stressing you out. So it just depends on, on your circumstance. On the flip side of that, these could be your emotions and this could be your passion and your fire and your energy that you're moving forward into this new uh, rebirth kind of thinking, um, rebirth kind of living, um, kind of like this new, um, this situation has turned into a new environment almost, even if you're not moving anywhere different, because sometimes it's just as simple as you changing your mind or feeling a different way as to seeing things in a totally different way and that's how I'm feeling I have this door to personal healing and happiness I mean that it, it speaks for itself this blossoming abundance makes me feel like it could be a blessing and then success and you're ready there's something about these cards that make me feel like you guys are going to change your mind about something and when you do you're going to be thrilled that you did and I just think that it's it's going to be a totally different you to a certain extent in a good way okay I'm not saying that it's going to be a bad thing it's going to be a good thing so if you're going through this right now don't panic over it it's going to change here in just a little bit honestly I, I really do feel that way so um, this is your reading for Aquarius for the second half of November, November 16th through the 30th uh, for Aquarius. I hope you guys have enjoyed it today. I hope everybody has a happy Thanksgiving. And I will hope everybody comes back and see, sees me in a couple of weeks. Take care, you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.